Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect men doing his work in truth and in sincerity. Today, <coughs> you know, just want to get into a quick lesson of why we got to stay strong, man. Continue to serve the Lord, right? Even, especially now, you know. Um, I want to just jump straight into it. This is 1 Samuel chapter 1 and 5. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion. And Hannah is one of the wives of uh, Elkanah, the mother of uh, Samuel. In which at first, you know, she wasn't able to bear a child. So it says, but unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion. For he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. Alright, so, so you might think, you know, with Hannah that the Most High is not dealing with her. All right, because the Most High shut up her womb, and even with us, you know, you might think the, you know, you got a lot of people out there that might call us, you know, the bumming lights, or they just make fun of us, they scoff at us, you know. But what the Most High was dealing with Yahweh Shai, and people didn't think that the Most High was dealing with him, because he looked the rough, rug, uh, rugged, you know, he spoke rude speech, he spoke rudely, he was austere. All right, so. It says, For he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore, for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. Alright, so even her adversary, you know, being that she wasn't able to um, bear a child, she was off, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? The Lord shut up her womb. Alright, so, it says, but to Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore. Alright, and alright. Who <clears throat> who's that who is our adversary? Alright, Satan, man. Satan is the main adversary, but the, the physical counterpart of Satan is the so-called white man and his minions, man. Two thirds of our people, heathens, scoffers and scorners, man. They all in that same boat, so as her adversary also provoked her sword, in which we also get provoked sword day in and day out, man. Whether it be a uh, uh, two thirds at our job, uh, scoffers and scorners on the common board, or, or at the camp, man. Faggots walking up and down, everything vexing us, man. Her adversary also provoked her sword for to make her fret, which that word fret just basically means to make her unease, man. So she was of a, of a contrite spirit as well. Because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so, year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Alright, so her adversary basically was um, Elkanah's other other wife, uh, Pen, Pen, Penina. Therefore she wept and did not eat. All right, and also, who else is our other our adversaries? Your woman, man. That's your adversary too. Therefore, she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou, and why eatest thou not, and why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten. Up shot Eden and Shiloh, and after they had drunken, now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by the post of the temple of the Lord, and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. <laughs> and which doesn't the scripture say um, that the Most High is with him of a, of a lowly and a contrite spirit? All right, so it says verse eleven, and she vowed a vow. First Samuel's one and eleven, she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts. If thou will indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips. Move, but her voice was not heard. Going to show you that, also going to show that we could pray in our minds. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. Now Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. 
And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of sorrowful heart, of sorrowful spirit. I have drunken neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thy handmaid for a daughter of Belial, but out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli said, answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Alright, so this goes to show uh, what a few things. I write that the most, you know, like I was saying before, the most high is with them of a contrite spirit. You know, the most high working with his men. All right. In which he has men set up. All right. Because, you know, El I mean, um, Slakia, what's her name? Uh, Hannah uh, prayed. But Eli was right there. He was a priest of the most high, man. In which case, he relayed the message. All right. Going to show you that the most high is with men. All right, and she said, "Let thine hand may find grace in thy sight." So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. All right, so she had faith that the Most High, when she when she heard that man, that built up her countenance. Man, she had faith, man. All right, when when you know when you sad and when you out of whack, man, <laughs> you know that makes you humble, man. In which case, the Most High is also with hey, a humble man, man. That's synonymous with the man of a contrite spirit. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah, his wife. Alright, so they had sex. And the Lord remembered her. The Lord remembered what she prayed for. Wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son. All right, so all praises to you. How about Shimmy? How was shy, man? Going to show you that what, man? Even though the adversary, all right, this story is a, is a, a, a prime example. Even though the adversary comes up against you, all right, tries to take your faith. Well, you still got to stay strong, man. In which case, in the end, you'll be granted, you, you'll be blessed by your How about Shimmy? How was shy, man? All right, that's why on verse two, and Hannah prayed and said, "My heart rejoiceth in the Lord." I mean, uh, First Samuel two and one. Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies. Because I rejoiced in thy salvation, man. That's what we got to do. We got to rejoice in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai's uh, salvation, man. Yeah, you know, it's easy to uh, get down, you know. It's, because Hannah, she was even down, man. She was sad. You know, she had a, a sorrowful countenance, man. But at the end of the day, man, you continue to believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You will also too rejoice, man. You will rejoice, man. All right, this, you know, reading this lifted up my spirit, Lord willing, it does for you, brothers. That's that's going to listen to this. All right, this is Psalms 141 and 8. But my eyes are unto thee, O God, the Lord, and thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Verse nine. And keep. Me from the snares which they have laid for me. All right, what's the enemies uh laid for us, man? The scorners and scoffers, they want us dead, man. All right, ultimately, they want us to lose our faith so we can have the same fate as them, man. But it says, And the gin of the workers of iniquity let the wicked fall in their own nets, whilst that I with all escape, man. All right, all right, in which we will, Lord willing, we, we uh maintain, man. Let the wicked, all right, two thirds of our people, Satan, being in our minds, whatever the case may be, man, let them fall, man, and also let us not fall with them, man. But let's let us escape those nets, man, those fiery thoughts that we may have, man. All right, and we have faith. All right, and continue to pray and ask the Most High to deliver us. He will, man. All right, like I said, you know, just think upon your Howashai, man. Just think upon your Howashai. All the world hated your Howashai. All right, everybody hated Yahweh Shai. Well, not I wouldn't say everybody, but majority of the world hated Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai had men that follow him, man. And what's the scripture say? The servant is not greater than his master. So Yahweh Shai had to go through all that hell and uh, you know controversy of, of dealing with the world. All right, you even had Satan try to attempt him, man. After he fasted the forty days and forty nights, and what Yahweh Shai do, man? He beat, he fought Satan with the words of the scriptures, man, the commandments. All right, this is Isaiah 50 and 8. 
He is near that justifieth me, who will contend with me. Let us stand together, who is my adversary. Let him come near me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The moth shall eat them up, man. And we see that with those men, those fallout uh, dudes that come up against us, man. All right, they they lose their flame, they lose their candle, man. The Most High takes that that truth away from them, man. All right, so we already know we already know what what's their end. All right, like the Most High say, I'm gonna actually get it real quick. And this is uh, well actually I'm gonna finish this off. The Isaiah 58, uh, no, it's locked it. Yeah, I'd rather get this first, and I'm going to jump back. Jeremiah 15, man. We know they end. And Jeremiah 15 and 2. 15 and 1. This said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. All right? And these were the most highest people, man. The ones that couldn't get right. The ones that constantly went off, man. The constantly sinned. The ones that constantly get, went against him, man. Which our people do today? Are we coming to spirit of power? Yeah, how about shit me? How was shy? I but our people don't want to hear, man. Our people don't want to get right, man. All right. It shall come to pass, and they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shall thou tell them, All right, this is your end. Thus saith the Lord. In which we got to go out. This also goes to show which we, what we have to go out and say, man. Such as are for death to death. And such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity, man. All right, the Most High said, "All my, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, man." All right, so the sinners, the one, the adversaries. All right, they gonna get, they gonna get what they deserve, man. All right, because, you know, that's their reward, man. Like the brother always brings out, you know. You think about what? You think about Call your ended. You think about your reward, that's something that you work for, man. Alright? So what's our reward? If, if we, we stay strong in this faith, Lord willing we do, what's our reward? The kingdom, man. Alright? That's why it says uh Isaiah fifty and ten, who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and have no light. Let him trust in the name of the Lord. Let him trust in the name of the Lord, the ones that fear the Lord, and stay upon his God, all right? And which we have to do, man. Because if we don't, man, we're going to be counted as the sinners of the Most High, man. And what's basically sin is going against the, uh, what the Most High says, man. All right, I'm going to get one more precept before I end it out. This is Mark. All right, because Yahweh Shai went through all that hell. But he was still counting righteous, man. This is Mark 16 and 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Because right, you know, in this chapter, Yahweh Shai was basically uh, pissed at his men because they didn't believe, man. They didn't believe and, and they didn't believe that he came back after he rose from the dead, man. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believe not shall be damned. Alright, so the ones that believe on him, the ones that believe on him in truth and sincerity, alright, because how you going to truly believe on something if, if, if it's not in truth and in sincerity, man? You don't truly believe on it, man. He, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. All right, and what's that mean, being baptized? It change your ways, man. But you could say that you believe, but do you truly believe? All right, you got to be a doer and a hearer. But he that believeth not shall be damned. All right, the adversary, man. Those are the only ones that don't believe in you. How about you and how shot? Those are the ones that believe in themselves, that believe in Satan. All right, that believe in everything else, everything contrary to the Most High. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. <laughs> All right, which we are speaking with new tongues, man. We speaking the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, words that at one point we didn't know of, man. They shall take up serpents, 
And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. All right, this is our end, man. This is what, this is what, we 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 are gonna do, man. This is what we do now, man. With the words of Yahweh about Shimi Shai, man. All right. So then, then after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. All right. So after the Most High, all right, went through his hell. All right, lived his lot. He, he then was able to sit on the right hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. I mean, it's like you're on the right hand of Yahweh, man. Yahweh Shai was then able to sit on the right hand of Yahweh, man. So even with us, man, you know, after we go through this hell, man, you know, Lord willing, we make it through, man. Because as we see, you know, not everybody's going to make it. All right? Many are called, but few are chosen. But Lord willing, we make it, man. All right? So, you know, this is why we got to continue to cleave and to pray. And you know fast even man Because Satan is getting stronger man Alright So you know Satan is doing his thing We gotta do our thing man So with that You know Lord willing Brothers edified Shalom Israel